Here we're going to discuss the synthesis of polysubstituted benzenes, which is covered in the benzene and other aromatic compounds, electrophilic substitution reactions chapter. When planning syntheses, there are three key things that we need to bear in mind. The first thing is to consider the directing effects of each substituent on the benzene ring. The more powerful activating group on the ring controls the position of electrophilic attack. And finally, the position of electrophilic attack depends on the electronic and steric effects of substituents on the ring. So we're going to look at a couple of examples now. And in the first example, we're going to look at the synthesis of 4 bromobenzonitrile from benzene. And here are the two structures. Here's 4 bromobenzonitrile, my target molecule, and here's my starting material, benzene. And in the synthesis of this compound, we need to consider two key things. Firstly, that the bromine atom is 2,4 directing. And we need to introduce a substituent at the 4 position with respect to bromine. So it means that we can introduce the bromine atom first, and then we can introduce this nitrile group. Secondly, we can recognize that this CN, this nitrile group, can be introduced by a diazonium ion. In the first step, I'm going to brominate benzene using bromine, iron 3 bromide. Here's bromobenzene. The second step, I'm going to nitrate bromobenzene using a mixture of nitric and sulfuric acid. The bromine, as we said, is 2 4 directing, so I can get a mixture of ortho and para isomers. We would expect this isomer here, the desired isomer, to be the one which is preferentially formed because the bromine atom will hinder attack at the ortho position because of steric effects. So this would be the major product, this would be the minor. We can separate these two regioisomers, and then we can take our desired regioisomer and re we can reduce the NO2 group using tin and HCl to form the NH2 group here. We can then diazotize that NH2 group using sodium nitrite and HCl. We form this diazonium ion. And in the final step, we can react that diazonium ion with copper 1 cyanide, and that allows us to introduce this nitrile group at the correct position. So overall, we've completed our synthesis of 4 bromo benzonitrile. In our final example, we're going to look at the synthesis of this molecule here, starting from chlorobenzene. And there are three key things we need to consider in this synthesis. The first thing is that the chlorine atom is 2,4 directing. So we can introduce, for example, this NH2 group because it's in the 4 position with respect to the chlorine, but this is going to be problematic to introduce this substituent because this is at the 3 position with respect to the chlorine. This side chain, this ketone, can be introduced by our friedel crafts acylation reaction. And finally, to introduce an NH2 group onto a benzene ring, we could use a nitration followed by a reduction sequence that we saw earlier on. But we need to be aware that an NH2 group on the benzene ring is not compatible with a friedel crafts acylation reaction. So if we introduce the NH2 group first on the ring, and then we want to introduce the ketone side chain, we've got problems. Because this NH2 group with a free lone pair on nitrogen will interfere with the friedel crafts process. So we need to protect the NH2 group before we do the friedel crafts isolation. And that's what we're going to do in this synthesis. So in the first step, I'm going to take my chlorobenzene and I'm going to nitrate it using nitric and sulfuric acid. And I'm going to nitrate at the ortho and para positions. This is the para isomer, the one that I desire. This would be the one that I would expect to be formed predominantly because then we have minimum steric effects at the 4 position. But I would expect also to get some attack at the ortho position, so I would need to separate the ortho isomer from the desired power isomer. I'm now going to reduce the nitro group using tin and HCl. And because of the problems with having an NH2 group when we're trying to do the friedel crafts isolation, I'm now going to protect the NH2 group as an amide. I'm going to react the NH2 with ethanol chloride, we lose HCl, and the base mops up the HCl that's formed, and I convert the NH2 into this amide group here. This amide group 
um, is resonance stabilized so we can take the lone pair from nitrogen and we can, can delocalize it over the carbonyl group so it will not interfere with the Friedel-Crafts acylation. Very importantly for the synthesis this amide group is 2,4 activating. It's a stronger activating group than the chlorine so this will determine the position of the electrophilic substitution. So we're now going to introduce the ketone side chain in the Friedel-Crafts acylation. Benzoyl chloride and aluminium trichloride reacts with the benzene ring and the ketone goes in the ortho position with respect to the amide. And then finally, I need to convert the amide back into the NH2 group. So I'm going to hydrolyze this nitrogen carbon bond here using hydroxide iron and water to give me the NH2 and give me my target molecule.